G'day and welcome to the garage and part three of the pre-war dry lake racer build. So right now really all I've got is a big mess of parts and um, if you're going to do things properly you've got to have a plan. Now it's all well and good to have a plan in your head but that can get a bit messy so today I'm going to work on a list and um, we'll go through some parts we'll uh, start making a little bit of structure and a little bit of uh, direction for where we're going with this build. So there's some obvious and then there's the not so obvious stuff I've got to do. So let's start on this list and we'll go through it. I've got a 32 axle, which I believe it's 32, and it's slightly dropped. I think it's dropped two inches over a standard Model A axle. Let's go and have a look at it. So this is a gear. So yeah, um, well there's a Model A axle underneath. So here's your standard Model A. This is your 32. So. I've got it, I was going to put it on the coupe, but I'm thinking of putting a 4 inch in the coupe. So I might as well use this on this build, why not? doesn't take long to get a bit of a list going and I am nowhere near a finished car with this list but what it does it gives me a plan and I can start to prioritize what I need to do I can look at what I need I need to source buy or make and it just makes the thing work and come together so much easier so really this chassis is the backbone of the car I guess everything is bolted to it and um, without it you can't really start so I think what I need to do, hey Muttley, how you going sweetheart? What I need to do is get the chassis ready. Yeah, chassis first, we'll get it rolling. Um, I've got to rebuild that front end, build it basically from scratch. Um, that 32 axle. Um, you know, with the diff, this is a good working diff, but when you put hydraulic brakes on these things, you've got to cut off the, um, the, the ball, which is on the um, on there for the rear shocky. So there's a shocky, that's an original shock, which I need to get some more. But you can see that's pretty much lined up to there. Originally there was a ball there, I'll show you. So here's an old diff um, axle tube, and you can see it's got the ball on there. So. I'll have to clean this up and I'll fit it. I've got two of them somewhere. Got another one. Yeah, it's over there in the mess. Um, we'll clean these up and we'll fit this to that um, diff center. So we can fit original shocks because we're going, we're not restoring it, but I want to make it period correct. So we've got to do it right. Now, another thing I'll put aside specifically for a build like this is this old Model A torque tube. Now, if you look at the way they used to make the, uh, the headers on the, um, on the hot rods, I'll show you a picture now. Traditionally, they were made from old torque tubes. I mean, you could use the axle tube, but traditionally they're made from torque tubes because they actually start off a bit smaller. So I've kept this one specifically for that purpose, so we will be running that style of exhaust. So there's plenty of cheap radiators on eBay, they're made in China, and you know what, the one on the Model A, which I used, it's over here. This done well for about three years, but it eventually broke apart, and um, because it's all aluminium, it's not going to last forever, but they keep cool. But because of the nature of this build, I want it to be original, so we've tried this radiator before, it is blocked and it's not cooled properly, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove top or bottom tank, whichever is used myself. 
I'm going to clear out all the tubes, keep this original core, and um, I'll take it to a local radiator repair place and just ask them to put the tank back on. Hopefully it won't cost too much money. Another job I've got to do is repair this firewall. Um, someone's cut it out and a lot of people do that to fit the V8. So that's no biggie. I have a couple of options. I can repair it, which I did on the 30 back in the day, or I can pinch it from the coupe, which um, has a reasonably good firewall. It does need some repairs as well, but it's not been cut away like this one. I can do a swap because that's getting the V8. So that could possibly work, we'll see. So another big job um, is building the subframe for the floor and um, everything basically bolts or welds to it, holds it all together. Um, once I've got the chassis sorted out, I will start on the subframe. So that's one of the big jobs that will come up and um, because it doesn't have one and they're quite expensive to buy, I'm obviously just gonna make one, which I did on the coupe, which wasn't a big deal. I guess the big deal is to make sure that you can't see anything wrong, and that's um, that's the plan. I will have to change the steering wheel. This is a 46 Ford, 46 to 48 Ford steering wheel sedan. Um, obviously, it wasn't around in the mid 30s. I think this is a 30, 31, um, but she's knackered. So, I mean, I can repair it, but if I find one that's a little bit better, I will. So. Steering wheel, I need to put that on the list. So this list is dynamic, it changes all the time. And um, like I said, in my opinion, it works. It gives you a structure and a plan to go to. It shows you what you need to buy exactly. So let me show you how I do that. So what do I need to buy? I need to, I need a rear spring, which I might have one lined up, but I need to get one. So I just put a little asterisk next to that. Front spring, I've got one, but I still need one. Um, little spaces, I've got to make two of those. So that's got to be sourced. Um, intake exhaust manifold. So a flange plate for the intake. Um, steering column bracket, I've got to buy. So that's kind of how I um, do things. So kingpin kit, um, shockies. I've got my seat, I need a dash cluster, um, dash rail, uh, windscreen posts, windscreen frame, windscreen, uh, do, do, do. what else, what else do we got to get? So yeah, so that's it from me, a short but sweet but an important part of the build very important part of the build because you're referring to it the whole time. Worthwhile of an episode, I'd say. So, yeah, we'll get into it. Hey, Mutley, how you going, mate? How you doing? Anyway, that's it for me. Stay tuned with video mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. Good times. See ya. What do you reckon? What do you reckon, eh? Hey? What do you reckon, mate? Huh? What do you reckon? Hmm?